I'm Liesl. And I'm Ruth. And I'm Rob. And 12 Bull is our robotics team. Since 2004, our team has welcomed all interested high schoolers in the North Lake County area, whether they be public, private, or homeschool students. As we compete under a parent organization, First Robotics, we strive to give our students real world experience in the engineering industry. FIRST stands for For Inspiration and Recognition in Science and Technology, and it's a global organization designed to prepare students for careers in STEM through the power of competitive robotics. There are many different age levels of FIRST, ranging from elementary through high school. Our team competes on the high school level, FIRST Robotics Competition, or FRC. This FRC season had its kickoff about a week and a half ago on January 4th. Since then, each team has been strategizing, prototyping, and um, building our robot to get our unique solution for the game that we saw only weeks ago for the first time. The result will be an 120 pound robot designed, built, wired, programmed, tested, fundraised for by high school students. Through the flurry of activity that forms each year's six to nine week build season, students learn skills in mechanical, electrical, and software engineering, as well as computer aided design, or CAD. They also learn soft skills through the outreach side of FIRST, as each team strives to make a difference in their community in their own unique way. And just as each team has a unique approach to the robot challenges and outreach, each student has a unique experience in the program, as each student is drawn to a different area of the team. Working together, our students with their diverse skill sets form a cohesive whole, 12 volt bolt. One thing that sets 12 volt bolt apart from other teams is our small size. Many FRC teams have roughly 25 students at least. It can go up to about 50 students for a big school team. We have only 15 members. To function as well as other teams, we work more closely together than a larger team might, with an added focus on ensuring that every voice is heard. In addition, each student develops a base level knowledge of all areas of our team, as well as focusing on their skill of choice. A student might not always know what they want to do when they first join the team, but sooner or later, each is drawn to at least one of our five subteams, mechanical, electrical, programming, design, and business. By developing expertise in their chosen sub-team, students gain valuable experience toward their career goals. And by working together, we constantly push the boundaries of what we can achieve. For my part, I've loved programming since I was in fifth grade when I began experimenting with JavaScript and Python. This passion is actually what led me to first. I discovered the program through my Girls Who Code chapter in ninth grade. Programming on an FRC team is as close to real-world engineering experience as possible. The code has to accomplish specific challenges on tight deadlines, and the programming team must work together with the rest of the team to ensure that a robot, the competition robot, works as it is intended to. I've always loved the problem-solving aspect of programming, as well as the experience of tinkering with a line of code or a method until it expresses exactly what I mean. What I didn't realize was how well these skills would translate into the business and strategy side of the team. But before long, I was organizing strategic planning meetings to discuss how best to overcome our current challenges, as well as hunting for exactly the right wording for essays and presentations. These presentations would become one of my favorite things about 12 Volt Bolt. It's just so much fun to be able to share the things we're learning and the skills that we're using with younger students at libraries and schools, and see them discover the amazing things they can do with STEM. My younger sister joined our first LEGO League team, the Bumble Bolts, and it's been amazing to see her discover so many things about programming and robot design. But as much as I love my work in the business team, my true passion will always be programming. Once I graduate, I hope to go to UCF to study computer science in preparation for a career as a software engineer. When I first joined the team in the summer of 2018, I found myself immediately drawn to electrical subteam. I can't even begin to tell you how much I have learned from being a part of it. I now know how to wire a robot with motors, sensors, controllers, and a battery. And I've also gotten to learn about Ohm's law and how electricity actually functions. I love electrical. However, my true passion is writing. I love to write both fiction and professional pieces. Through the business sub team, which I've really come to call home on 12 Volt Bolts, I have the amazing opportunity to write professional speeches, essays, video scripts, and plenty more. Without the opportunity 12 Volt Bolt has given me to explore things that I simply couldn't as a homeschool student, I might never have realized my true desire to write and present as well. I'm thrilled that I still have so many years to learn and prepare myself for college, where I intend to study my passion in creative writing. Eventually, I hope to be a writer and professor, inspiring the next generation through the amazing art that has found a wonderful home in my heart. 
writing. Wow, okay. Who's gonna come up here and join them and start working on the robot after this? <laughs> what amazing young ladies. If you have any concerns about the future of North Lake County, you've seen it right here. We hope that after meeting Ruth and Liesel, you may think again. When you read a robotics demonstration in today's program, you may have thought NASA scientists, engineers, but we brought teenagers. Great, great teenagers, our future here in Lake County. Our competition is often large schools, as Liesel mentioned. Big teams from big cities, but we are a smaller, homegrown organization right here in your hometown. Many of these large teams have sponsorships from aerospace and defense industries throughout the country and high-tech firms. While the majority of our funding comes locally from community foundations, local business, and general individuals such as yourselves. And hopefully we prompted you to contact us and maybe students that you have, children, grandchildren, to join us. Robotics and engineering has fields and disciplines that are often dominated by men. And we brought these young ladies today just to surprise you and tell you a little bit about them. At the Florida competitions this spring, Ruth was one of four students to win the first Dean's List Award. And then she represented our great city and county in, at the World Championships in Houston. This was based on her being a great example of a student leader to the team here locally and in the community demonstrating FIRST and its mission. Congratulations. But as Liesl explained earlier, we're not just about all of that stuff, we're about other stuff. 12 volt bolt is more than just robots and STEM. We draw students from many other talents. Liesl is a freshman, and she performed with theater troops in Longwood and Sanford this past year, taking the lead role in Cinderella and Glass Slipper at the Rock Academy. Congratulations. We are a team of very different, and we are a very different team from others we compete against, but that doesn't hinder us at all. We rise to the challenge, learning and excelling both personally and as a complete cohesive team. Would you like to see our ro robot? Well, <laughs> 12 volt bolt is more than just robots and STEM. What we're really about is giving youth in our great, great community the skills, experience, and opportunities beyond what they could have ever imagined without being involved with us. Ruth and Liesel are fine examples of many of our stories within our group. Please join me in giving these two students and the ones that aren't up here a huge round of applause.